Westeros has seven kingdoms, but the Iron Islands have hundreds. Every ship on the waves is a kingdom, and every captain on his deck is a king. The mainlanders will bow to a man whose only claim is dropping out of the right cunt. But the Ironborn spend their lives at sea. We know that if a captain is weak, his men drown. If he's foolish, his men drown. But if he's strong, his men carve their names into the world with blood, steel, and song. Any man with a ship may claim the salt throne, but the rest of the Ironborn have to give it to him in the king's mood. Our priest claimed the first king of the Iron Islands was the Grey King, who ruled over the sea itself in the dawn of days. He took a mermaid to wife and stole fire from the storm god, and carved the first ship from a demon tree that fed on human flesh. When he died, his hundred sons slaughtered each other until only sixteen remained. Since none could overpower the rest in battle, they came together and chose the strongest to be their king. And so began the tradition of the Kingsmoot. <laughs> A good story for children who don't know that grey is what men become after their strength has fled, or that brothers do not easily submit. Over the centuries, the Kingsmoot has raised the greatest of the Ironborn. Corrid Horror, whose word was law whenever men could smell the salt air or hear the crash of waves. He sacked Old Town and defeated the River King, taking three young sons as hostages. When their father's tribute was late, Corrid cut out their hearts with his own hand. When the father marched for vengeance, Corrid smashed his army and gave this River King to the drowned guard. How in horror! Born to a king who had a fleet he didn't sail, and swords he didn't blood. As an unruly and worthless youngest son, Harwin was sent away to the east to vanish, and so he did. But when his father died, Harwin returned to the Iron Islands for the king's smooth. An elder brother objected, so an elder brother fell off a horse, and at the king's smooth no man objected. Harwin launched his father's ships for Westeros and took ten times the Iron Islands from its weak lords who never expected to face an ironborn king as skilled on land as at sea. For Harwin had reaped with eastern pirates and served with eastern cell swords and learned more of war than the ironborn could imagine. After Aegon and his dragons burned our last king, Aaron the Black, and broke our armies, the defeated Ironborn chose my ancestor, Vecon Greyjoy, as Lord of the Iron Islands, not king. For centuries after, the Kingsmoot was a joke that the Ironborn didn't get. When a Lord Greyjoy died, the captains would meet and choose his eldest son to succeed him. Of course they argued over it just long enough to show they weren't now like the very mainlanders they despised. Once more we have a true king, my own brother Balin, who had the balls to seize the driftwood crown, but not the brains to hold it. He is the first king the Iron Islands have had in centuries, and the fool would be the last. The kings would once chose him over me. They will not have that choice next time.